Hi everyone, so today I decided to make a really quick video about a common issue with Quest 2 I see a lot of people having, including myself. And the issue I'm talking about here is glitches in the tracking that results in tracking lost error message and often the six degrees of freedom tracking turned off altogether. I've personally not been able to get rid of the tracking issues completely, however, I'm going to guide you through the different steps that have allowed me to overcome the tracking glitches and resume normal operation. If you do not find a solution to your problem from this video, make sure to also check out the article in the video description, where I discuss the topic in more detail and also cover some of the more rare root causes and solutions to different tracking issues. So, let's get started. My first recommendation is to simply reboot the headset. This is especially true if you're facing issues after waking the headset up from sleep mode, which for some reason seems to mess up tracking. Although it's so simple, restarting is probably the most effective way to overcome temporary tracking issues. You can also simply try to re-enable tracking either from the dialog that appears right after the tracking is lost, or do it from quick settings. Sometimes it magically starts working after a couple of tries. Maybe it's the time factor in play here, who knows. The next step I would recommend is to clean all four cameras on the front plate using a piece of microfiber cloth. Reboot your headset or turn tracking on manually afterwards and see if there's any difference. The next and also the most important factor affecting the Quest 2 tracking is the lighting in the room. Make sure to remove or add cover to all bright lights that are directly visible to the headset. Also hide any LED lights such as Christmas tree decorations, web cameras, etc. If your play area has a window and the sun is shining through, causing uneven patches of lights, make sure to close the curtains. It is also important to remove any reflective items you have in the room and mirrors are a good place to start. Finally, you want to turn off your TV or laptop in the play area. From my personal experience, having the laptop open has caused tracking issues several times. So in conclusion, try your best to make the play area well and even lit. And do keep in mind that single sources of bright light seems to mess the tracking up most, so try to avoid these. Another thing you can do to help your Quest 2 with tracking is simply to tidy up your play area. Objects lying around are not safe and can also confuse the headset about your room setup and previously saved guardians. You might also simply want to test the headset in a different room to see if problems happen there as well. This leads us to my next recommendation, which is deleting saved guardians. If you're always playing in the same room, but the headset is asking you to create new guardians, this means there are several different mappings of your room stored in the headset, which can potentially conflict with each other. So go ahead and delete your saved guardians and try if tracking issues are still there after creating a new one. My final recommendation is to make sure your headset is up to date. Oculus has made constant efforts to improve the tracking of the Quest 2 throughout their software releases. This is also true for version 38, which is the latest one at the time of making this video. If you tried all of the steps mentioned in the video and the tracking issues are still there, make sure that you check out the article listed in the video description where I discuss some additional things that might cause tracking issues and steps for you to try out. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you found the video useful and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.